Sup nerds, you guys want to see a dead body? Today we have Shine Greymon versus Alphamon. I start off by evoing into Agu, hard playing Kuda, and adding a Geo to my hand. Caleb hatches Dorymon, evos into Dorumon, and evos into Dorugumon. Dorugumon, whatever. All the Doris and Dorus. Then he evos into Dex Dorugumon. Can't say that for some reason. And then hard plays a Dorumon. It's a fast turn. I evo into Geo for three. Go fishing in my security. Sadly, we do not see a tamer. Um, he evos into a Darugamon to pass turn. I evo into Rise. Play my BT12 Marcus, the good one, for free. He evos into Dory Greymon for three. Uh, Tux and X Antibody Source, and now he's immune to DP reduction until the end of my turn, which is. A big bummer. And then I goes into uh, Dex Doru Greymon for one. Trashes a card, gains memory. Can't pop a champion, but doesn't really matter. And then Evo's into BT12 Alpha, or BT13 Alpha. Uh, Tucks a source, and then all my 10 costs are higher, cannot attack. So that's a pretty big bummer. Um, so I start my turn, and I turn my Marcus into a Digimon for the turn using my Agamod's effect to save a memory. I evo into shine for three. I swing with Marcus, uh, trigger shine's effect to minus 6k on the uh, Darugamon. Then evo into Geo for free off of the uh, Marcus effect. I actually survived the check, which I would have probably preferred not to survive, but... Um, so I hard played the Kudamon. Add the Rise. Kale patches a Dorimon. Evos into Ryudamon. And Evos into Alphamon. Oh, you can. Uh, for three memory, pops my shine on Evo. Triggers the end of turn effect from uh, the new Doru Greymon to Tuckasaurus to gain a memory. Um, so he doesn't actually pass turn. And he swings twice here. Um, unsuspends off of the Oryumon. And then swings another time and spins off the second Oryumon that he tucked under his sources. Swings for another check. And then Kongo's me. Very cool. And then triggers Alphamon or Hugin's uh, end of turn effect to bot deck up to seven sources. Um, ends up picking six. Uh, to gain six memory back. Let's go to five. Seems good. Hard plays of Udamon. Search top three. Adds Darugamon. Evo's into Darugamon. And then Evo's into Darugamon and Raising. So I hatch Evo into Agumon. There's no point in turning my Marcus into a Digimon because I can't swing with it because of Kongu. Um, I'm in a bit of a pickle uh, that really pooped on my turn. Kongu is a good card. Like his Alphamon's no longer immune to DP reduction, but it doesn't really matter. So even to rise, rip the Marcus Damon off the top to not pass turn. Play it minus, uh, tap it to minus 3k and gain a memory. I minus 3k on the Darugamon, trigger Geo to draw. Agumon to delete the Darugamon, and then Kormon minus his 1k on the alpha. And then Evo into Shine for 3. Activate his effect to turn Marcus into a 3k blocker till the end of his turn. So actually definitely messed up on this turn. Um, so he hard plays Yuji. Uh, swings, trigger Yuji's effects to Tuck. Tuck's the BT7 Dory Greymon. Alright, so right here is when I made the mistake. So I block with Marcus, which is correct, and then I trigger Shine's effect to minus 6k DP on the Oryukin, uh, because I was not thinking about the recovery that I was going to have. So I knew the Oryukin, if it survived both checks, it was going to kill me, but that's actually not true because now I have three security. So I should have reduced the Darugamon by 6k, and that actually would have killed it, and I actually would have survived this turn. Uh, sadly, I am a potato. Uh, so he just swings a billion times, 
and then swings with the guy that I could have killed for game. Um, I don't know if that actually mattered. If he congoed me again, I just would have lost anyway. But if he didn't congo me, I actually probably would have popped off pretty hard on my turn and potentially just killed him because I had burst mode in my hand. But that's the way she goes. You live and you learn and you get loves or whatever. All right, so I go first for game two. I hatch my Coromon, Evo into my Agumon, and then play my TK. I don't want to get choked on this game, and also it uh, it affects, it acts as like a memory boost card for me because it just treats my security as a second hand. Incredible memory setter. Um, so he hatches a Dorymon, Evo's a Dorumon. Plays Yuji for three memory. And then Evo's into Darugamon, which he would have choked me, but we thought ahead on this in this game. And so I go to three from TK, and then hard play Agumon. Still missing Marcus's. Um, I do not have any in my hand yet. Then Evo into Geo, see if I recovered into a Marcus. LOL, it was already in there, I knew it was in there. So I get to play it and then tap it to gain a memory to choke him. Um, but he does hard play the Coda. Now he has a memory setter, I can't choke him, boo. Then adds the uh, Doru Graymon. Save him into Rise. And then Evo into Shine, and then uh, have Marcus become a blocker until the end of his turn. I'm hoping he potatoes and swings before he does this, but sadly he does not, so... He goes into Doru Graymon. He actually doesn't trigger the effect, uh, which is really good for me, so like, I can DP minus him. Which I think was definitely a mistake. I, I would have triggered that effect for sure to DP minus. And also, he evos into the BT9 Alpha, and he doesn't have anything in Trash, which he would have had in Trash, had he triggered the Dory Gray's effect. Um, so he can't even de-evo my Shine. Um, so I think that was just uh, definitely a misplay. I'm sure uh, Caleb would agree with me. Um, he triggers the uh, Dory Gray's end of turn effect to Tuckasaurus. He gains memory and draws a card, but I still, still pass his turn, then I go to three. So Caleb mistakenly tells me that his uh, Dory Graymon's evo effect is its DP can't be reduced. Uh, which is not the case. I can actually reduce his Alphamon's DP here. Um, so that explains why he didn't trigger the effect is because he thinks it's just an on Evo effect. Uh, so his Alphamon is very vulnerable here and I can actually just have my Shine Greymon turn my Marcus into a Digimon for the turn and swing with it and I'd be able to just kill the Alphamon uh, while checking one security. Um, but unfortunately because I'm under the impression that his DP cannot be reduced, I burst mode Play the Marcus, and then it's 12k Digimon with Rush, and I swing, gain a memory, and check one security. Or I trash one, and then check one. I check the cool boy, he gets his uh, search. And then I swing with burst mode. I check the Horyuken, uh, which is surprising, I didn't expect to die, but it, it's gonna happen. Then Evo into Geo for two. Yeah, so if I had actually read his Doru Greymon to confirm that that effect was triggered. Um, I just would have been able to out his Alphamon without even doing anything different on my board. Um, but that's how it goes. Read your opponent's cards, even if they're confident that they know what they do. Sometimes they're wrong. Um, so he hatches Evos into a uh, Dorumon and then swings with Alpha, triggers Yuji to tuck a source. Um, it's an Oryumon. Uh, does survive the check because I believe he is I think he's 13k from his inheritables. Um, then he unsuspends from the Oryumon. And then Congo's me. Which actually doesn't really impact me on this turn. Um, since I don't have the BT12 Marcus, Congo doesn't really do anything to my deck. Because I'm not I'm not gonna swing my Rise Grimon, like there's no reason to do that. So I am actually 1,000 DP short of being able to kill his Alphamon this turn. I do math here for a little bit just to make sure that I'm not like missing something, but yeah, I can't kill his Alphamon. Uh, so what I have to do is just set up and just hope for some reason he can't kill me on his next turn. I even ask Caleb, are you sure he's 13k? So I'm like, ah, I can only minus 12. So I TK to fish small stuff out of my security and just hope that I recover into a burst mode. Um, and then his Alphamon dies, assuming he doesn't Evo into an Oryukin. So he promotes, Evo's into a Darugamon, Evo's into Dex Darugamon, triggers Cool Boys, all this stuff, gains memory, draws cards. Evo's into Darugramon, and actually triggers the effect this time, very smart. He thinks here, he reveals the one of, and he's like thinking about whether or not he wants to tuck it, but I feel like that's like. Uh, for Sherzies, like if you ever see that card, you tuck it in your sources. And he draws from the uh, Dorymon from tucking a source. 
And then Evo's into BT12 Alpha for four. Tucks another source from Trash. Gains memory off of the source he just tucked. Swings for 14k, two checks, and then triggers Yuji to tuck an Oryumon. And now I'm just hoping it checks a burst mode. So when he survives those two checks, I know it's game. Uh, because the Rise Gramon is what I recovered into, so I know the rest of my security is Digimon. He goes into Oryukin, tucks a source from uh, Daru Gramon's end of turn effects, and then triggers Alphamon Oryukin's end of turn effects. Lots of stuff happening here, but ultimately it doesn't matter. He can just swing twice and I just lose. Um, so he declares an attack, and I concede. I know what the other two security are. Uh, but GG's to Caleb. Let but that be a lesson to you. Uh, make sure you know what your opponent's cards do. Sometimes they can be wrong. This was week one of BT13 format, so everyone was still learning their decks. Um, so I don't blame him for that. I should have double-checked, but it's not a big deal. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in this kind of content. I want to come back for more. But until next time, see ya.